This question, there are two lines. Line L1 with DC is L1, comma, M1, comma, M1 and line L2 with DC is L2, comma, M2, comma, N2. Now, DCs are nothing but the unit vectors along, along the lines. That is, they are the parallel vectors. They are, they are the vectors that are parallel to the line L1, which is given by L1 I cap plus M1 J cap plus N1 K cap. Now the vector parallel to line L2 is L2 I cap plus M2 J cap plus N2 K cap. It is given that line L1 L2, uh, line L1 and L2 are parallel. Sorry, perpendicular. Now if a line L3 is perpendicular to both these lines, then it is nothing but the vector parallel to line L3 must be perpendicular to both these lines, line L1 and line L2. Therefore, it is not, it is the cross product of these unit vectors. Cross product of unit vector is nothing but the unit vector. So, we will directly get the DCs of the line L3. Now, let us find the cross product of line L1 line L1 and L2 which is given by I determinant I J K L1 M1 N1 L2 M2 N2 here here I have taken L1 bar as a vector parallel to line L1 and L2 bar as a vector parallel to line L2 now I into M1 N2 minus M2 N1 minus J cap L1 N2 minus N1 L2 plus K cap L1 M2 minus M1 L2 which is equals to I cap M1 N2 minus M2 N1 plus j cap n1 l2 minus l1 n2 plus k cap l1 m2 minus m1 l2 this is the unit vector which is perpendicular uh, parallel to line l3 since this is the unit vector then the x y z components are nothing but the dc's therefore the dc's of line l3 is given by m1 n2 minus m2 n1 comma n1 l2 minus n2 l1 comma l1 m2 minus m1 l2